everyone, so today I have another tag video for you. I hope you don't mind me doing these. I've kind of gotten into them and I think that they're really fun. And this one is going to help you get to know me a little bit better since I'm doing the 25 random question tag. So first question, what is your middle name? My middle name is Anne. Number two, what was your favorite subject at school? Definitely anything that involved art and music, so I was a big fan of my art class that I took senior year. Oh my gosh, I also love French too. This is like too difficult, I can't pick. Um, I would say French, even though I really, I was really involved in music. I was in jazz band and concert band and marching band. And I did all the dorky things in high school. Um, definitely French class was my favorite subject at school, that's for sure. I'm assuming that this meant high school, by the way. Um, number three, what is your favorite drink? Water! I absolutely love water, and it's probably like the dumbest answer <laughs> to say, but that's just what I always go to when I'm really thirsty, and the water has to be like super ice cold for me to drink it, and it's just, it's delicious. Number four, what is your favorite song at the moment? Definitely Katy Perry's Roar. I cannot stop playing that song. I'm like obsessed with it. I love Katy Perry. I've been such a big fan of hers. I was lucky to go see her in concert one year and it was absolutely amazing. I need to go and listen to the rest of her new album because I just, I can't wait to see what else is on it. I'm so obsessed with Roar. Doo -doo -doo. Number five. What would you name your kids? This is something that I just haven't put a lot of thought into because I'm not planning on having kids for like a while. <laughs> and even with that, it would be something that I would have to discuss with my husband, but I definitely do have a name picked out for if I were to have a boy, I would like to name him after my two uncles. And um, the one is definitely a family name because it's also my grandfather's name. It would be Michael Thaddeus. I would love to do Thaddeus Michael, but I don't think that the kid would like being called Thaddeus as it's such an old name and it's so odd. So I wouldn't want him to be like ridiculed or anything in school or be made fun of for his name. So, but I definitely like Michael Thaddeus. And for girls' names, I I don't I have no idea. I, I like the name Adrian. I, I have no idea what that. <laughs> Too soon to be talking about it. Number six, do you take part in any sports? Um, I was very active in tennis growing up. I was in tennis lessons, and then in high school, I played on the tennis team. Since then, I've been playing occasionally, pretty much whenever I can, and then slash whenever I can find someone that plays tennis, since it pretty much takes two to play. Um, and that's about it, and I kick a soccer ball around sometimes. I'm just not the most athletic and coordinated person. Number seven, favorite book of all time. Now this, <laughs> this is another difficult question because I could say the Harry Potter series because that's definitely like my childhood. Like I grew up with those books. I have so much love for Harry Potter, but I also really love Slaughterhouse-Five by Kurt Vonnegut. And then I also really love The Gatsby by Fitzgerald. So I just, I don't know what to choose. I can't, I can't pick on that one. Number eight, what is your favorite color? Can you just tell that I'm a very indecis indecisive person? That's what you're gonna learn from this tag. I don't necessarily have a favorite color. Um, I definitely gravitate more towards like a teal blue or like an electric, like super bright, lighter blue. But then I've also been liking purple a lot lately, which is weird because I absolutely detested purple when I was younger growing up. Number nine, what is your favorite animal? Anyone that knows me knows that it's zebras. I am obsessed with zebras. I go to the zoo just to go see the zebras. Um, I used to collect little zebra animals and I even have an Andy Warhol zebra print up there, which is like the epitome of my existence because it's Andy Warhol, which I'm completely obsessed with and zebras, like my two favorite things in one is on that on that wall over there. <laughs> Number 10, favorite perfume? I would definitely have to say the Celine Dion perfume. Um, in case if you're wondering what it is, I mentioned it in my sweater weather tag, so if you want to go to my channel and check it out, it's in there. Favorite holiday? 
This is another tricky one. Um, I'm definitely going to have to have food override Halloween. I simply love Halloween because I like getting dressed up and then I like seeing like what other people, like all the creativity that they have put into their costumes and outfits and their makeup and their hair. So I just love Halloween just for the whole creative aspect of it. And then food wise, I definitely love Thanksgiving and Christmas just for the food, but if I had to pick one. I think I would say Christmas because you basically get all the Thanksgiving food plus on Christmas we get like our Polish sausage so that's like I only eat it once a year and so for that reason I'm going to go with Christmas. Number 12, have you graduated high school? Yes, I am getting old. I graduated high school in 2007. Um, 13. How many times have you been out of the country? Or have you been out of the country? If so, how many times? I have been lucky enough to go out of the country. Um, I'm trying to think how many times I've been to Canada. This is going to be a guesstimate because Canada is like boop, right up there. So close. I would say I've probably been to Canada like five times. Five, six, six, maybe seven, some, somewhere around there. Between five and seven times. Um, I've also been to Mexico twice. Um, yeah, I went to Cozumel and then I was in Belize slash San Pedro slash Amagreeski. Amagreeski, key, so that's an additional two more times out of the country. And I've been to France, so that's three other places places outside of the country besides Canada. So I've gotten to travel quite a lot in my young age, even though I just called myself old and I'm very fortunate and grateful to have done so. Number 14, do you speak any other languages? Um, when I was in Belize and St. Pedro Island, I did pick up a little bit on the Creole, but I don't remember much of it now, so it's pretty much useless. And for French, as I mentioned, I took three years in high school and I tried taking it for two semesters in college, and it is just a pain in the butt to do French in college. Like, I couldn't stand it, so I stopped doing it, which stinks because I really would have loved to minor in French. But I suck at pronunciation, but when it comes to reading French, I can pretty much pick up and make out what the different words are and what the sentences are. So I'm still pretty good with being able to recognize and read it. 15. How many siblings do you have? I do not have any siblings. I'm an only child. Um, number 16. What is your favorite store? I would say Michael Kors. But, oh my gosh, my friend and I went to the outlet just to look and we're like, one day we'll be back. I have my Michael Kors watch and I will be back to buy more than a watch from there someday. Hopefully, I just absolutely loved everything that was in his store. But realistically speaking, in a store that I can actually afford, I would have to say H&M would be my favorite to go pick up clothes. Number 17, favorite restaurant. Uh, my favorite restaurant. This is tough. I would have to say that my favorite restaurant is... Okay, so I've come to the conclusion that if it's like for a super fancy, like once or twice a year dinner, I would like a really nice high-end um, steakhouse. Because I don't eat a lot of steak, and if I do, it's on special occasions. So if I'm going to eat steak, it needs to be the best steak. And generally speaking, I guess I'll have to go to Cheesecake Factory. I don't know. I can't really think of what my favorite... I mean, I guess that would be it. Cheesecake Factory, so... Number 18, do you like school? Not currently, because finals, like, we have two weeks, and then we have finals, and it's just everything is getting crazy. So, so I hope you guys don't mind like the lack of tutorials and like these tag videos and other things that I'm doing because it is extremely hard to be in college. <laughs> There's a little tiny dog down there barking. It's extremely hard to be in college and try to keep up with YouTube and maintain videos and even putting a video up once a week is a struggle because I've seen so many people say, Oh, it's so easy. All you have to do is put up several videos a week. I'm like, what are you doing that you have time to do this? In college, you don't have time to do this. 
So I hope you guys don't mind and stick on with me through this. Yeah. Number 19, favorite blog. I feel like I need to change this to favorite YouTuber since this is on YouTube. Favorite YouTuber would be Shane Dawson. He is one of the first people that I started watching. I kind of discovered YouTube through him and I've been watching him for years. So definitely big shout out to Shane Dawson. Favorite movie. Favorite movie I think I would have to say is Mean Girls. Or, hmm, this is tough, because it, it, it was also forgetting Sarah Marshall for the longest time. I'll just have to go with Mean Girls, because it's classic. Who doesn't like Mean Girls? Um, favorite TV show? Definitely Pretty Little Liars. I am so addicted and so hooked. And then my other favorite that like ties in with it is How I Met Your Mother. See, I'm like really bad at this. I can't, I can't make decisions. I can't just pick one. <laughs> Um, 22, Mac or PC? Definitely PC. 23, what phone do you have? The worst phone in the world. I absolutely hate this. I want to throw it off my balcony and then smash it into a million pieces with a sledgehammer. <laughs> Which is weird because everyone loves iPhones. I hate this. Hate, hate, hate it. Um, I had a droid before I got this to see what the hype was about. This phone's a POS went to Apple because like my phone doesn't work half the time, my apps are always crashing, nothing on here works, like my phone calls don't even work, I'll get a voicemail and then like four days later it will tell me that I had a voicemail from last week and I'm like seriously? So and I couldn't return it because there's a slight scratch on my screen so apparently my insurance doesn't cover it so I don't even know why the heck I'm paying insurance on this phone every month if I can't even get this sent to be fixed or get a new one and then when I went to the Apple store they said oh you have a really rare case you have software mal you have a software malfunction there's nothing we could do for you unless if you want to give us hundred fifty dollars for a new phone and I'm like nope so I'm stuck with this POS until March when my update is ready and I'm not getting another iPhone <laughs> 24 can you tell that I 24. How tall are you? Um, I think I'm around 5'7 and a half or almost 5'8. And 25. What part of your body do you like the most and what is your least favorite? I like my eyes the most, um, more specifically my eyelashes. <laughs> as little and incon like insignificant as that is to like when you think about your whole body, but I definitely love my eyes my eyelashes the most. Um, I love my pretty blue eye color. I like that my eyes are bigger. I like my super long lashes. It's my favorite. Mascara time is my favorite time. And body part that I like the least, I would have to say my butt because I don't have one. So <laughs> that is it for the 25 random question tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I tag anyone else that hasn't done this yet and would like to. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and also check out my blog channel, MegBTV. Links will be down below, and I will see you next time. Bye!